Uh, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to cut worker images for TEW or EWR in GIMP. Uh, GIMP is a free um, photo editing program you can download online. If you go to Google and just search GIMP, you'll be able to find it probably within the first or second result on Google and uh, install it on your machine. This is uh, GIMP 2.8 I'm using. Now, uh, I have GIMP open. And I have saved a couple images to the desktop, one being the standard KYKY base that a lot of people use for worker pictures, and the other one being the picture that I actually am going to cut to put on the background. In this case, it's a picture of uh, the New Age Outlaws during their recent WWE run, and uh, I'll, I'm going to cut out Billy Gunn to put on the KYKY image. So you have GIMP opened up, and we're going to go to File, Open and select the uh, two images you need and hit open. <clears throat> and here they are. Now, uh, for KYKY, it's a black and white image, and a lot of times when you save it online, it changes the mode to uh, grayscale. Uh, what that does is makes everything black and white, so we're going to want to fix this before we actually cut our image. So go over to the background and go to image and then mode and then as you can see the little uh, circle is next to grayscale we're going to want to click rgb and we should be set there for now now let's go over to the image of the new age outlaws here uh click on that and widen your canvas a little bit so that you can your viewer i should say so that you can see the whole photo and when i cut images i like to use the magnifying glass tool to zoom in a little bit it just makes uh cutting a little bit easier and to cut the actual image, we're going to be using the path tool. It's similar if you've ever used Photoshop to the pen tool. Uh, click on that. And then uh, we're going to want to start at the bottom here and make a click. That adds a point to the uh, canvas here. And then your second click, you're going to want a little further than that. And when you make the click, hold in the uh, left button on your mouse. And if you move around, you can see that it, it creates a little line between the two points that bends. This is how you get a nice smooth cut along the uh, contour of the image. Um, you just move this around until it matches up and then make your second point, third point I should say, and you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna do this all the way around the worker image. Um, at first it might be a little confusing as to how close or how far you're gonna put the actual points themselves, but with a little practice, this will only take a couple seconds. So uh, we're going to keep doing that around the image. And remember to drag each time you click so that you get a nice contour on uh, the worker you're cutting. Now when it comes to hair, um, there's like always a few stray strands that shows the background. It's a real pain in the ass when you cut. So what I usually do to get around that is I stay as close, about, close as possible to the line where the hair is the thickest. And uh, whatever's outside on uh, the, this side here, just don't even worry about it. And uh, when I cut worker images, I usually stay pretty close to uh, shoulder area and up. So were these guys hands crossing here, it's really not a big deal. You could actually be pretty haphazard with your points and just cut around it like that. And then down here, it really doesn't matter. So we're just going to click and then meet the points here. Now, once you've done that, right click inside of the image where you want to cut out, right click on that and go to select and then select from path. Now that makes this all dotted and active. Now go to edit and copy and bring this down here. We're going to go over to the uh, actual background now and widen your viewer a little bit. Now go to edit and paste. All right. From there, we're going to go over to the move tool and uh, square them up here. Now this is actually about perfect as to where I usually cut my pictures, but let's say it wasn't. You could use the scale tool over here. Click on the image 
and if you uh, click in the right or top left, I mean, hold shift and control and then drag, you could drag the uh, image to scale any size you want it. And once you've done that and you got everything set to where you think it's good, go back to the move tool, square them up here. I usually cut off about the top of the head and put them right there. All right, now go over here into your viewer of the layers and you can see the layer that Billy Gunn's on. You're gonna, it says uh, floating selection pasted layer. You're gonna right click on that and uh, go over to two new layer. Now uh, the image is on its own separate layer away from the background. <clears throat> and uh, I usually add a, uh, a drop shadow to give it a little more of a 3D and smooth effect on the image. So uh, from there, just go to filters, light and shadow, and drop shadow. Now make sure you uh, don't have allow resizing clicked. Make sure it's empty because if not, it messes up the size of the image itself and we don't want that. I have a offset set to two each. That's usually pretty good. And opacity at 60. Um, you could play around and see what you like. But uh, these are pretty good for me and the background and the color of the actual shadow itself is black. Uh, we're gonna hit okay. And as you can see, there's a little bit of a shadow on the image now. So from there, I usually go over to my uh, layer viewer again, right click and go to flatten image. That just makes all the layers compressed into one so it's one solid image. And then we're gonna go over to select, select all, and then go to select and border. I usually put a two pixel border on my images, it gives it a nice thick border. Um, you could do one, you could do three, you don't even have to do a border at all. But if you do want to, let's say we're going with a two here, hit OK. And now the selection has left a space between the two uh, regions with dotted lines here of two pixels. We're going to go over to the paintbrush tool and uh, make sure your color is on black or whatever color you want your border. And once you've done that, you're just going to click your paint tool and hold and go all the way around the edge of this. And you could do it a couple times just to make sure that you got all of the space covered there. And now go to select none again. And as you can see, there's a nice black border around the image. And once you're there, you're pretty much done with your image. So let's save it. You go to file, export as, and uh, select JPEG down here. And I'm going to save to the desktop and we're going to name it Billy underscore gun dot JPG. Hit export, hit it again. Make sure your quality is around 100. That gives you a nice lossless image. And then hit export. And on the desktop here, it popped up. Let's double click. And there's your worker image and that's all there is to it.